Oral health, very important to, well, summer teeth, basically. Some are here, some are there, and hopefully you have all of yours. And to talk to us a little bit about our oral health and oral care as we age, especially, is Dr. Natalie Archer from Runnymede Dental Care. Thank you very much for being here. Thank you. I was distracted at the beginning because we were, we were talking so many ways of how to stay on top of our oral health, especially as we age. That's the most important part, and that's what you specialize in. Absolutely. Yeah, pretty passionate about um, the fact that our mouth is our primary portal to our body, mm -hmm. and you cannot have a healthy body without having a healthy mouth. Exactly. And I think what puts people a little bit more in perspective. Your mouth is one of the fastest healing Sites organs. Sites of the body. Yeah. Absolutely. So then obviously it's the most important part. If something is wrong with your mouth, then you might want to think if we can't get rid of that sore or that there is something more major. Absolutely. Yeah. And I think the most important thing is keeping our mouth clean. Okay. So by keeping our mouth clean, any bacteria or anything going through our mouth is going to really help keep the rest of the body clean. Excellent. Now, you have some tips to I be do. able to help us do just that, especially as we age. So what would you say uh, is the best way that we are up to date on our health, our oral health? Sure. Well, especially winter time um, is, a, is a real important time in keeping our mouth um, infection free. Mm -hmm. So one of the coolest tips, I think, my number one tip would be gargling with warm salt water um, first thing in the morning and perhaps even just before you go to bed. Uh, we know, I know, brought some little uh, it's perfect there. Yeah, so you just take a Dixie cup, warm, warm water, exactly, two, three shakes, no more than that. Oh. Yep, you don't want to have it too salty. Um, and give a quick gargle, um, 30 seconds or less in your mouth. Mm -hmm. And we know the importance of salt because bacteria can't live in salty water. Exactly, we should be doing this every day. You know what, if you know Once some people around you that aren't feeling well, I think it's a great tip. In fact, a friend of our family was um, a radio show host, 35 years in a row, never missed a day of work. That was his trick. No way. Well, there you go. Thank you very much for that You're backslided uh, information right there. Okay, tip number two. Tip number two, floss only the teeth you want to keep. <laughs> I love that. You love that? Yes, I do. So if that means your front teeth, your mm -hmm. back teeth, personally I think they're all important. So yes. I don't have any favorites. I just brought two tricks. Uh, one I love is a waxed floss, mm -hmm. a glide that can go anywhere. And the second is for those who just may not have the dexterity with your fingers yeah. or if you want to floss somebody else's teeth, um, these little floss tricks make it a breeze. It's hard to get in some of those crevices back there. I didn't know that there was different sizes of floss. This might sound silly, obviously for close teeth that are really tight together and then ones that are more spacious. I had no idea. I just learned that yesterday to be honest with you. So, okay, flossing is key. Absolutely. Number three is we really know as, as the dental profession that a clean mouth means a, cl a clean body. Mm -hmm. And I brought some tricks there using our friendly Dentifor man. Um, and some specialized toothbrushes that uh, people may not see in the drugstore that we use at our clinics. Mm -hmm. And they may make it a real breeze. If you want to open them up, I'll show you that just by brushing the grinding surface with these extra long toothbrushes that are flexible, mm -hmm. you're getting the grinding surface, the inside surface, and the outside surface all in once. So for people taking care of other people, this is fantastic. Cuts your brushing time in half. Mm -hmm. I love it so much that we have it for kids as well. So well, that's what I was going to say. These would be absolutely ideal for children. If you're yeah. brushing your child's teeth, you can't stay in there very long. Nope. So you have a side. And can they pick these up from you? Uh, we have them at our clinics. They're a special order. I just uh, discovered them last year at a trade show, and uh, they've just made everybody's life such a breeze. I know, it's fun. What about kids with braces? Does it help as far as the braces are concerned? You know what? It actually is great for braces. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah. So I personally love this for people who uh, may have Parkinson's or dexterity issues. It's yeah. really hard to get in there. It makes it a real breeze. These are fantastic. Okay, what's next? Next is actually no prop, but a little trick that we know, and that is as the birthdays go on in our life, mm -hmm. we all get our compressive forces. We all seem to get a little bit shorter. And so from a dental perspective, our teeth also get a little bit shorter. And so I say to myself, well, how can we prevent the shortness? You know, if you're not going to be chewing or wearing and tearing them, uh, many times we'll make night guards or, or some appliances mm -hmm. for patients, but a little trick that you can't lose, doesn't cost you anything, is a tongue trick, and that is put your tongue on the inside of your upper two front teeth, 
Okay. I'm doing it now. Me too. And when you're doing that, your joints are in the most relaxed position. If you do that a couple times during the day, whether you're driving to work, you're on metro transit, whether you're reading a book, it's kind of your go-to position. If you find yourself waking up in the middle of the night from grinding or that kind of mm. thing, if you do that go-to position, you'll fall asleep that much faster. Amazing. Thank you for that. That is fantastic because I always notice, especially when I'm driving, typically I'm grinding my teeth yep. or when you do wake up and your jaw is already hurting. That's fantastic. You're welcome. Thank you, Dr. And free. Archer. And free. Exactly. Yeah. We love free tips. Okay, what else do we have? Fifth tip is um, actually I say the golden, the golden ingredient in our body is saliva. It is our primary um, oh, buffer. I get it. It's okay. true. And so I say to myself, well, as the birthdays go on, again, our mouths dry. Mm -hmm. And so um, water consumption is extremely important. Mm -hmm. However, my experience with older patients is that, you know, by drinking a lot of water, you know, you have to go to the laboratory a lot. Yes. And so, um, you know, we say to ourselves, having foods that increase our salivary flow rate, such as fibrous foods, celery, carrots, mm -hmm. easy, chop them up. Yeah. Another one is citrus foods, such as oranges, lemons, just sucking on those also increase our salivary flow rate. Right. And uh, I love flavored waters. Mm -hmm. um, it just makes it a little bit more fun. Exactly. Thank you so much for coming on today's show. Welcome. All these wonderful free tips, how to make sure that we are keeping all the teeth we want to keep in our mouths up into our age. Uh, who knows, right? 80. I could have a perfect set of teeth by the time I'm 80 or 100. Oh, way over 100. Exactly. Thank you, Dr. Archer. My pleasure. Excellent. Now let's throw it out to Melissa, who's probably freezing her buns off.